All right, this video is going to be about um, Airport Express and what I'm using it for. Okay, so just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on is that um, I actually need a wired connection upstairs to connect to the internet. Now, I do right now at this moment are running two cable modems but that doesn't seem to be working out so well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook up an airport express to my already airport screen and then hardwire the computer from the airport express once i get it set up okay as you can see i am running a mac mini all right i have a mac mini and i didn't neglect old faithful hp computer so i kind of have them both set up here but that's not what we that's not what we're talking about but i have the um as you can see here i am running the airport screen for my wireless connection so i have you know my macbook pros iphones apple tvs xbox all that stuff is running from the airport screen and that's what I use as my wireless router to, you know, to hook up all those things. But um, as you can see back here, I am hardwired. Um, the, the Mac Mini is hardwired. And this here um, all-in-one HP computer is also hardwired into the airport screen. But for the MacBook Pro, um, my laptop and my iPad and um, iPhone and, of course, you know, the... the um, the Xbox all need a wireless connection, so I am using the airport screen for my um, Wi-Fi needs. But upstairs, um, what I need also, I need a hardwired connection upstairs. So instead of having, you know, two modems, like right now I'm running a, um, a Motorola Comcast modem, I, also, I, I, um, I actually have two of these. So instead of running two of these modems, I'm going to only have one modem, and I'm going to hook up an Airport Express using my Airport screen, and then we're going to do a speed test and go from there. Then we'll see how um, how that works out for me. So let's get to it. All right. So let's unbox this. Okay. So I'm just you know open this up here. Get it open. And it doesn't come with much. Um, As you can see, it's just the Airport Express. It's a little tiny box there. And the power cable. That's all in the box. The Airport Express itself and the power cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this into the wall where I want it to be. And then my Airport Extreme should recognize it. And then I'm going to join the networks and I'm going to extend. It's not only is this, is not only I'm going to use this is a hardwired connection using the ports in the back using the um, ethernet cable in the back but also it's gonna it's gonna expand my wi-fi connection so that's gonna even give me a more powerful wi-fi connection upstairs because notice the airport screen is downstairs and it, it, it works pretty good because i'm using an apple tv upstairs as well but this also is going to extend my wi-fi connection um even better. I'm even gonna. I should have an even better Wi-Fi connection because I'm gonna use this as an extender, and also I'm gonna be using it for the Ethernet cord, the Ethernet in the back to have a wire, um, to have a wired connection upstairs. So, let's see how that works out for me. Okay, now I'm just going to head on over to my MacBook and get it set up. All right, so from your MacBook Pro, we're going to open Airport Utility. Keep in mind, you also can you can also set this up using an iPhone or an iPad as well if you have the um, Airport Utility app. So let's click on Other Wi-Fi Devices. The Airport screen already located the Airport Express, so let's click on it. All right, and I'm gonna kind of leave this in real time so you can kind of get the the idea of how long this would actually take to set up. All right, it's found the Airport Express. I'm just gonna delete my name here um, and just have it say Airport Express. So let's click on delete. All right, now let's click on next. Okay, 
So the Airport screen is going to um, set up all my settings for the Airport Express automatically for me. All right. So we're just going to kind of wait for that to finish. All right. And this should take under a minute to set up. So it's real quick, give you an idea of how quick and easy and how fast this takes to set up a new, you know, um, Wi-Fi extension. So this is going to actually extend my network. So it's going to extend my Wi-Fi coverage um, to have longer range. And I'm also going to use it for um, to get a hard connection upstairs. Setup complete. Let's click done. All right. And as you can see, the airport screen is now connected to the airport express. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, take a look at how this works. All right. All right. So once you complete the setup, you should get a green status light that lets you know that the airport express is ready to go. So I already got the power cable hooked in. So all I'm going to do is connect the ethernet from the airport express into the computer. All right. And from there, Okay, so I have everything connected and ready to go. I have my ethernet connected to the Airport Express. So now we're gonna do a quick speed test. As you can see, I'm getting top speed over 50, over 57 for download speed. And for upload, looks like I'm going to be just a tad bit over 11. All right, so there you have it. I hope this helped. Um, just a little recap of what I did. Um, I needed a hardwired connection upstairs, so I added um, an Airport Express to my existing network of with using the Airport Extreme. I just um, expanded my Wi-Fi connection using the um, a Airport Express and also I'm able to have a hardwired um, connection upstairs. So there you have it. I hope this video helps. Until next time, 